Hi, you know me, I'm Pastor Fred. Today's sermon is really close to my heart and it's titled, Purpose in Your Pain. When we go through difficulties in life, what? The first thing at least I try to do is blame somebody else as opposed to accepting my own blame. Most important part, doesn't matter where it comes from doesn't matter where your problem came from. Well, this is the good part. God still has a purpose for it in your life. Even when you do stupid things like Pastor Fred. God can use it. Well, notice it didn't say God caused it. It said God can convert these painful things into purpose. Even when other people hurt you intentionally, guess what? He can use it. Even when the devil's plans or the opioid monster's plans, those bad things for your life, God can definitely bring good out of it. Always remember, God's purpose is greater than your problems and your pain. He has a plan. You need to look past the temporary pain and look instead at the long-term benefit in your life. Let me say that one again. Look past the temporary pain, and instead look at the long-term benefit in your life. And there's a great verse of Scripture that goes with that. And that's Romans 5, 3 through 4. It says this, We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, and here's the important part, for we know that they help us learn to be patient, and patience develops strength and character in us. And what does that do? It helps us trust God more and more each time we use it until finally we celebrate our hope and faith are stronger and steadier than they've ever been in our whole life. Did you notice that? Not only are we closer to God, we're more Christ-like. Well, I'm going to get back into that. What's the purpose of your problems and difficulty? Ah. Huh. God wants you to learn something. He didn't cause it but he definitely wants you to learn something from it. You know how much I like alliterations? Let me give you a few. Every storm is a school. Every trial is a teacher. Every experience is an education. That's the one I really like. Every experience is an education. Every difficulty it's for your development. And this, every pain is part of your purpose. Like Pastor Fred, you may be like me. I'm kind of a slow learner. If you don't learn something, life will bring it up again and in your daily walk. Or I like to say, what goes around will come around. It will come back. Not because God is trying to punish you, but God is more interested in your character that you develop than your comfort. He's more interested in seeing you do what? Become more Christ-like. Why? Because once we become more Christ-like, we're less apt to repeat the problem and suffer the pain again. That's just the way it works. Like I said, he's more interested in you becoming Christ-like than making things easy for you. Because when, by making things easy for you, you you're going to keep repeating yourself. Only after you go through it and you learn the cause and you grow from it and you become Christ-like. How about this? Maybe right now, you're facing a difficulty. Right now. It may be an illness, a 
could be guilt. You might be feeling shame. Or it could be a financial problem. It may be a strain in a relationship. Or it could be several of the above at the same time. Well, does God have a word for you while you're going through your difficulty? Absolutely. God is saying to you, don't give up. Grow up. Always remember, we grow through our suffering. Not when we're eating cake and celebrating. You don't learn too much by doing that. There's another verse of scripture, and I think this sums it up pretty good. This small and temporary trouble that you and I suffer will bring what? A tremendous amount of eternal glory, much greater than the trouble. That's 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Let's pray. Well, God, the prayer is simple. Help us take our pains, help us work through them, and help us recognize that that pain is going to be part of our purpose in life. And as you know, I love to say, our wounds become our witness. And that's what we're all about. We're out there trying to help other people recover and go through the recovery that we went through right now and still going through, but we recognize that our strength is not self-power, but spiritual power. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Remember, Tuesday, our online group with Pastor Fred. Wednesday, we have another online group with Sue and Lisa at 12 o'clock. And both of them, mine and uh, Sue and Lisa's, are at 12 o'clock. And on Thursday night, Sue has a six o'clock group. Well, for all of us at Start Butte uh, and myself, we first want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And right after Thanksgiving, we'll get ready to start celebrating Christmas to go on through our Advent services. All right. From all of us, again, at Start Butte, God bless you. Bye-bye.